find a lot of biologists. <laughs> 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 Start with an example situation, so that suppose you have an, uh, suppose you don't know sciences, and suppose there is a spaceship coming from outside, and it crash lands on Earth, and you have to figure out, it has, it's working, it, it was a spaceship, it was able to fly, and it has all its rocket mechanics, and all its, all its engineering in there, and you have to figure out how that spaceship works. So what would be your approach? That's what, I mean, anybody can answer, I mean, it's, I mean, do I have to, can I make it a little interactive about it? I mean, would you like to take a microscope and start looking like how their semiconductors have been built and maybe how... I mean, yeah, we imagine, you can actually figure out a lot of things that way. It's not that it's completely useless. <laughs> but the idea is that uh, uh, Feynman said that what I cannot build, I cannot understand. So in that uh, in that philosophy, what uh, there is a group of people and another group of people who are trying to look up at biology at a different per perspective, which is like bottom of biology. We want to understand really fundamental units of computation in life, like how do simple molecules come together and interact and produce interesting behavior. If you take a chicken, mix it in a mixer, it's just a soup, and that soup just a few minutes ago was interacting and was able to walk around, follow things and it was like an intelligent soup which can learn and I would like to talk more about this uh, so till now we haven't understood very well that how these things work and how life works but but if you want to build really basic things out of these things like so the idea is to use just look at what we know already like we know how molecules interact right can anybody tell me what law tells us how molecule interacts? Yeah, law of mass action, right. <laughs> exactly. So how do we implement learning algorithms or intelligent behavior using law of mass actions into chemical reactions? And then how can we go from there to engineering systems where chemicals will react and build an interesting organization? So, yeah. so that's, that's a field which is called maybe synthetic biology or yeah, you can call it synthetic biology. John is in there, he's not getting a ticket.